Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth, but you can call me Ellie, not Lizzie, please. And yeah, you read that right, I have more than 10 siblings. Wanna know how? Stick around and strap on your seatbelt, cause it's gonna be one crazy roller coaster ride. My life was pretty amazing. My mom and my little sister Rose were my world. Rose and I did everything together, even though we had a five year age gap. Rose was the funniest, and she always knew how to cheer me up when I was feeling down. Look Ellie, I'm a walrus. Feed me before I get hungry or in a eat you. Ellie, I have something for you. Pull my finger. I knew exactly what was gonna happen, but I still did, just so I could hear her laugh. Since mom was always busy with work or new business ideas, I ended up being a mom to Rose. Our mom loved us more than anything, but she wasted a lot of her money on failed business ideas. I wish she had more time to spend with us instead. One day, mom had a fun idea and took us to work with her and handed Rose a spray can, saying how she wanted to decorate her boss's car for a surprise. Wait, something wasn't right. Why are we doing this? Mom, we could get in trouble. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Rose, do it. Just then, I saw the security guards come out of Mom's office, and they caught her. Turns out, Mom had stolen money from the office and was fired and wanted to get back at her boss. Mom was taken away, but her charges were lessened because her boss felt sorry for us. She was going to be away for some time, but would do some community service afterwards. And that's how, at 14, I got put in the foster home with Rose, who was just nine, because of Mom's foolishness. Of course, I was very angry with mom, but now I had to focus on a goal. Take care of Rose and do everything in my power to make sure our family was back together soon. But nothing is ever as simple as it seems. We were shuffled to a couple of foster homes, but I learned to just roll with it. One family were legit angels, but the other ones were just in it for the money. Even the house was so bad, Rose thought the water stains on the walls were drawings. Since I wanted to give Rose everything she could want, I started some side hustles to make some cash. I did it all. Dog walking, baby babysitting, barista, waitress, you name it. You see, I was extremely smart, not just academically, but also street smart, and I learned things quickly. But on the day I turned 15, we were sent to a new foster home, and this place changed my entire life. For good, for bad, you'll find out soon enough. Oh, before I forget the most important part, like and subscribe. Okay, let's get back to it. Our new foster family was Kate and Adam and their daughter, Juliana. Kate was an old friend of mom's, and she was an interior designer. A freaking good one. Their entire house looked like it belonged in a magazine. Adam was a pediatrician and got along really well with children. Juliana was a couple of years younger than me, but older than Rose, and always had the biggest smile on her face. She was over the moon when we moved into her home. We used to see each other when we were young, and she was always friendly with Rose. I'll never forget our first night at the new foster home. Ellie, you hear the footsteps? Is that a ghost? Come on, Rose. There's no such thing as ghosts. Ugh, I'll go check, okay? No, don't. What if it gets you? I'm your big, strong sister. There's no way it can get me. Ah, ghost! I felt my soul leaving my body. It was Kate. I found out the next day that she sleepwalks. Oh, okay, but it was kind of creepy. Hey, say what you want about sleepwalkers. <laughs> but at least they always follow their dreams. <laughs> you get that? Oh, I'm so funny, ain't I? <laughs> Yeah, you are. After that day, I saw how well Rose got along with Juliana. She was the happiest she'd ever been, and I was happy too. So I went back to focusing on my goal. I wasn't at home a lot because of the part-time jobs, and I would get back home late. But one night, I found Rose crying. What's wrong? Did something happen? My tummy hurts so much, Ellie. I began screaming, and Kate ran into our room. We rushed her to Adam's clinic and found out it was an allergic reaction, and I saw red. Did you give her shellfish for dinner? Didn't you see the doctor? before you decided to foster us? How could you? I'm sorry, it was an honest mistake. Rose, baby, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. What if something worse happened? But it didn't, thanks to you. Now, let Rose rest and we can head home together, okay? I stayed by Rose's side the entire time, and once she was fine, Rose made me apologize to Kate for being so rude and told me how nice she was with her all the time. She does so much for us, so much more than mom. Her words made me realize that maybe I did let my emotions get the best of me. So the next morning, I walked over to Kate and in Adam's room to apologize, but as soon as I got to the door, I noticed Kate and Juliana whispering. As soon as they saw me, they went totally silent. That was weird. After that, I'd often see them talking like they had something to hide. Sure, I was curious, but it wasn't like I really cared or anything. But when Rose also joined in, I was super suspicious. Hey Rose, what's going on? What's with all the whispering? Oh, nothing. Really? I saw Juliana whisper something and then you laughed. Tell me too. I want to laugh too. Or is there some huge secret? It was just some dumb boy stuff. You sound like a mom trying to be BFFs with her daughter. <laughs>
See you later, alligator. Trust me, there's no big secret. The secret was the last thing on my mind because I was really worried about my little sis. She seemed like she was drifting away from me. She was spending more and more time with Juliana and it was like she totally forgot me. One time, Rose was up in Juliana's room talking all night and the next day when I tried to talk to Rose, she totally avoided my question. Gosh, Ellie, <laughs> chill out. You're coming off like a helicopter parent. Yeah, chill, Ellie. Yeah, daddy. Please chill. Saying that, they both started laughing. What the heck was even that? I was starting to feel like Juliana might have been a bad influence on her. And I knew I had to talk about this to mom. I miss you, mom. Everyone's acting so weird. Rose, too. I can't wait for everything to get back to normal. Did you find a job? Can we move back in with you soon? Uh, about that. No, I don't have a job yet. But I do need your help with something. Could you lend me some money? I need to pay back that ex-boss a little at a time. But since I don't have a job right now... I did lend mom the money, but that was when I had a brilliant idea. I suggested she come and work at the coffee shop with me. She agreed, and it took me a couple days, but I finally convinced my boss. I could spend time with her and forget about how Rose was behaving at home. And the boss liked how well I worked and promoted me to assistant manager as well. But the minute I got back home, Kate came running and hugged me. OMG, it's so late. Are you mad? Mad? Not at all. I was worried, kiddo. You know Adam's out looking for you? But thank God you're all right. I'll let Adam know. Someone worrying about me when I was home late? That was a first for me. It's nothing, Kate. Just some schoolwork. But I appreciate you being concerned for me. I'll call you from now on if I go late. Pinky promise? <laughs> yeah, pinky promise. I didn't tell Kate and Adam about all my part-time jobs, just the coffee shop. I didn't want them to worry about me working too hard. Kate and Adam made me feel like a kid again. Kate would drop us all off at school every day and had this habit of hugging us before we went inside the school. At first, I found it weird because I wasn't used to that much display of affection, but after some time, I really liked it. But I did not tell Kate, because like, come on, mom's hugging you at your school gate every single day? You know, it had been just two weeks with Kate and Adam, and I sometimes wish they were my real parents, but I knew it was just a fantasy. As my foster parents, they sure had love for Rose and me, but even if they wanted to adopt Rose, they'd never consider adopting me. It's hard for an older teen to get adopted, so I had to focus on getting my real family united. I had to work hard, save money, and give it to my mom so she could get a place to live and we could all be together. But nothing ever goes according to plan, does it? One day, the guidance counselor at school called me to tell me about a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Your grades are off the charts, and there's an amazing school across town that would be perfect for someone as smart as you. Not only will they let you skip a grade, but you'll have the chance of getting into the best university with a full scholarship. You gotta take this opportunity, Ellie. Well, that offer was something I could only dream of. I couldn't take it. I wasn't going to move away from Rose, so I told the teacher no. But that was just the beginning of a bad day. Later that day, I got a call from the coffee shop when I was at another part-time job. And boy, did my boss sound furious. When I got there, however, what I saw shocked me. Mom Mom was arrested. Again. What the heck is going on, Mom? I found money missing for days at the cash register, and it turns out she was stealing the money. He's lying, Ellie. I didn't. Do you have any proof it was actually her? I shouldn't have asked, because the CCTV clearly showed Mom stealing the money. I couldn't believe she'd do something like this again. And when my boss fired me, too, for bringing her in, I finally snapped. What is your problem? Do you know how hard I work to make our lives better for you and Rose? Why can't you be a normal mother? Why can't you be like Kate? Hey, don't you want to be with us? Your daughters? Wow! Before mom could reply, she was taken away and I was frozen to the spot. I did everything I could to make sure Rose and I were back with mom. And this whole time, she didn't even want us. I felt like my world was crashing down. Ugh, this is just great. I didn't know what to do. I was out of options. But then, I decided to ask Kate and Adam to adopt Rose. And I could manage on my own. Rose was thriving with them. I didn't want to take it away from her. When I got home that night, I could hear music inside. It sounded like a party. Just as I was about to enter, Kate stepped outside. Ellie, you made a pinky promise, girl. Is everything all right, honey? And that's when the dam broke. I told Kate everything that had happened and how my mom didn't want me and Rose. Kate, I know teens are hard to raise, so I'll just leave. Please, just take care of Rose and adopt her. Ellie, take a deep breath. I know it was a tough day for you, but never think that we would let you go. We love you. Adam and I 
saw how much you love your sister, so there's no way we would ever separate the two of you. We are adopting you both, and Juliana and I love you. Rose looks up to you so much, don't forget that. OMG, what? This is too much to take in. Um, but lately, I feel like a third wheel when I'm at home. All the whispering, it's like Juliana and Rose, they always have their own thing going on. I guess she likes Juliana more now. Yep, because they had their reason for that. Come on in. Surprise! It's my birthday. I didn't even remember it. Yeah, because you were too hard. So Juliana and I decided to throw you the awesomest birthday party ever. Do you like it? I wanted the perfect birthday party for my big sister. I, I love it. Thank you so much. I was stuck in the past trying to keep my old family together. I missed out on how amazing my new family was, but not anymore. After all the paperwork was settled, it was official. We were Kate and Adam's daughters. I have an incredible family who adores me. Yeah, sure, we have fights and arguments, but the love, it's strong. Oh, and I took up the offer at the school across town after the four of them forced me to, after Rose assured me that she was gonna be more than fine.